Ah, greetings. Just came from the ringing bar and it turns it into a, a belt. <laughs> Ring a lot of the juice out of it. Now for the stretching. Takes some doing just to get it opened back up to where it's all nice and flat. You can see how it changes color. Gets the moisture out. This is a beautiful day for high tanning. It's kind of hot, a little bit of breeze, no mosquitoes right now. Yesterday they were quite thick. It was uh, no wind, humidity, perfect mosquito weather. They were just swarming. But a lot of times people would uh, string them up in a rack, but I thought I'd like to uh, just do a hand stretch on this one over my knees to get it open up and then stretch it, stretch it, turn it, and stretch it. This whole process is going to take at least an hour, maybe longer. So I'm not going to film the entire process, I'm just going to get a little bit of it on video. Then the next video will show the finished product. I may have said before, but it's so enjoyable taking a deer hide that you skinned off of a deer. Scrape off the membrane and the hair and soak it and work it. Turn it into a piece of fabric or a drum or a jacket. One of my next couple of videos I'm going to get my buckskin clothing out and show what the uh, final finished product looks like. This stage is just to stretch it dry, get moisture out of it, work it so it's nice and soft. So it's just a pulling and stretching and turning and working. It's almost like a meditation. Meditation is a good thing to do when you're seeking to transform. There's not much else to do. Just get a process you're into and work on it, think about it, get introspective, and enjoy the enjoy the journey. See how it's. changing a little bit already. As I stretch it, it opens up and allows the moisture to escape. It's, it's, it's a ways from being dry, but it feels odd on the skin. And the trousers are going to go in the laundry because they're getting all kind of high tanning juices onto them. So, get yourself a hide and try it. If it doesn't turn out, if it doesn't turn out. It's not about doing a great job the first time, but you learn so much just by getting your hands on it and working it and feeling it, listening to people who have been there and, and by no means. I'm not an expert, any means. I've done a few, I enjoyed it. Some people have it down to a science. It's been a while since I've done one. I spent a year at an outdoor school in northern Wisconsin called the Teaching Drum Outdoor School. We lived in the wilderness camp for a year and I 
tanned 18 hides during that summer. One of them was kind of small, one of them was a raccoon. Turned it into a pouch. I did a couple small hair on hides to use as uh, sitting mats. Several of them I was able to turn into clothing. They were quite large hides. I'm a big guy, so it takes a big hide to make a shirt without adding pieces to it. So. It was quite the experience. That was back in 2004, 2005. of us at the beginning from uh, five different countries. A couple of people decided to drop out. So we ended with seven. It's uh, quite a bond you get when you live with somebody like that. You come together as strangers and you leave as family. I've seen a few of them since then over the years. One of them lives right next door. He's got his own YouTube channel. I'll ask him if I can mention his name before I mention his name. Maybe we can make one together. In the ringing, it's hard to squeeze this part. This is uh, on the leg. So there's, it's thin, but there's a lot more moisture in it, as you can see from this part. So, that's about it. I just keep keep on and keep on, keep doing this turning and stretching and pulling and working the edges. I uh, video recorded the whole thing. It wouldn't be very exciting unless I had it fast forwarded or time lapsed. So. Anyway, that's the stretching process of it. Easy, just position it, stretch it open, and stretch it open, turn it, stretch it, stretch it, and just keep on doing that until it's all nice and dry. If it doesn't get dry enough today, I'll just probably stick it in a bag to keep it from drying out overnight and then get back on it tomorrow and finish it off. But that's about it. This is Coyote in the Woods doing step. And it's a great day to do it.